History is full of fascinating rivalries, some of which have become legendary tales. But what if I told you that David Hume, the great Scottish philosopher, had a secret rivalry with his contemporary Lord Monbato? Yes, you heard it right. While Hume is known for his groundbreaking ideas on skepticism and empiricism, his relationship with Lord Monbato was anything but harmonious. David Hume, an intellectual powerhouse of his time, believed in the power of reason and empirical evidence as the foundation of knowledge. Lord Monbato, on the other hand, was a proponent of a rather peculiar idea that humans had once possessed tails but over time, through evolution, they had lost them. While this might sound like a far-fetched hypothesis to our rational minds, it deeply irritated Hume. He found Monbato's ideas absurd and nonsensical, challenging the very foundations of reason that Hume held dear. For Hume, who believed in the power of observation and the scientific method, Monbato's tail theory was nothing short of an attack on the principles of empirical knowledge. But how did this rivalry play out in their personal lives? Let's imagine a scene in a bustling Edinburgh coffeehouse where Hume and Monbato engage in a heated debate, much to the amusement of the onlookers. Hume, with his sharp wit and logical reasoning, dismantles Monbato's tail theory piece by piece, leaving him flustered and unable to provide a solid counterargument. This encounter only fueled Hume's conviction that Monbato's ideas were nothing more than whimsical fancies. Another scene finds Hume walking through the picturesque streets of Edinburgh deep in thought. He stumbles upon a young student who had just read Lord Monbato's latest work. The student, full of enthusiasm, presents his newfound revelation, the idea that humans descended from apes. Hume's eyes widen, and a mischievous smile appears on his face as he decides to play along with the young student. He engages in a debate, subtly guiding the conversation towards the principles of induction and the limitations of human knowledge. Slowly but surely, Hume leads the student to question the validity of Monbato's theories, leaving him with seeds of skepticism that might grow into a more critical and rational mindset. David Hume's encounters with Lord Monbato were not just personal clashes, but also a clash of their respective philosophical views. Hume believed in drawing knowledge from observable facts and logical reasoning, while Monbato embraced imaginative conjectures that seemed to defy reason. This rivalry, though hidden from history's limelight, sheds light on the philosophical tensions and debates of their time. In the end, Hume's rigorous commitment to skepticism and empiricism prevailed, as his ideas continue to shape the course of Western philosophy. Lord Monbato's tail theory, on the other hand, faded into obscurity, serving as a testament to the power of reason over fanciful notions. So, next time you delve into the works of these great Scottish intellectuals, remember the hidden rivalry simmering beneath the surface, and how it played a role in shaping their philosophical legacy.